Hey folks, this is Praveen and today we'll gonna see the lead code problem. Best time to buy and sell a stock. Um, so the problem statement says you are given an integer array prices where price i is the price of a given stock on ith day. Uh, on each day you may decide to buy and or sell the stock. You can only hold at most at most one share of a stock at a time however you can buy it and then immediate, immediately sell it on the same day find the find and return the maximum profit you can achieve so we have given the example so prices are 715364 and the output is 7 because we can buy it on day 2 which is on price 1 and sell it on day 3 which is uh, on the price 5 and the difference is 4 then we can again buy it on day 4 which is on the price 3 and we can sell it on the day 5 which is on price 6 and 6 minus 3 is 3 and 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so that's how we are calculating the maximum profit so i think the problem statement is very much clear let's try to understand this by one example so here I have plot this in a graphical view to understand the solution in the better way. So we can see the price is initially 7, then 1, then 5, then 3, then 6, then 7, then 1. So we'll buy when we are on the bottom or when our like left hand side and the right hand side, the price one day before and one day after is the more than the current price. On um, that time we're gonna buy it and we're gonna sell it when our price one day before and one day after is less than the uh, uh, the current price so we'll apply this mechanism and we'll gonna like move forward if we'll see here on three we're gonna buy but we're not gonna sell it on six because the right hand size price like the tomorrow's price would be more so in that case we're gonna like sell it on seven so that is basically the logic behind it but we can do a uh, and if we'll see it uh, like from this uh, example uh, from this approach so here on one we have bought it on five we have uh, sell it and here if we'll see the difference is four and if we'll see like on three we bought it and on seven we sold it so the difference is again four so our like sum is coming eight now we can make a little bit tweak here and what we can do we can just check if our current price like uh, the price on if we are talking about the 5 if the previous day price is less than the current day price we can simply sell it and we can apply this mechanism throughout the uh, array so we'll check on 3 if 3 is uh, greater than 5 no so we'll move forward from here we'll check on the 6 okay 6 is the greater than 3 yes so we'll subtract 6 minus 3 which is 3 and uh, again we'll check 7 which is greater than 6 yes so we'll subtract 7 minus 1 which is 1 and we can keep doing like this and when we'll sum this uh, uh, up 7 like 4 3 and 1 we'll again get the uh, same answer so that's the trick to solve this problem in like in the easier way okay let's try to write the code for this uh, so what we're gonna do uh, first we're gonna check uh, the prices uh, the prices which we have it should not be the array should not be equal to null or the prices dot length uh, if like if it is equal to null or if it is equal to equal to zero the length then we're gonna return zero from here otherwise what we're gonna do we're gonna create a like uh, integer that is max profit we'll initialize this by zero now we're gonna iterate over our prices so int i equal to zero i is less than uh, our prices dot size or the length since it's an array and i plus plus now Every time we're going to check, as I explain in the uh, uh, PPT, uh, we'll check if our, uh, so 
current price is greater than the previous price so okay we're gonna start from one here since we are checking current with the previous so here we're gonna check our price is value at i minus one if it is less than prices at i means the previous value is less than the uh, current value then our max profit profit would be uh, plus equal to uh, the difference of these two so price i minus uh, i minus one price i minus one and we'll keep running this and whenever we'll find our current price is greater than the previous price we'll add it to the the uh, difference of that we're going to add to the max profit and once we are done with this loop here we are going to return the max profit so that's how we can get the maximum profit which we can get uh, from these prices if i have written it correctly it should work let me try to submit it yeah it is working and it is faster than the 100 percent put submitted let's talk about the time complexity since we are only traversing uh, through uh, the prices and every time we are checking the current price of the previous price so the time complexity should be o of n and uh, let's talk about the space complexity so we just have one max profit uh, created so it's like o of one yeah so if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.